بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heavens and earth. He created all of this beauty, this vast beauty of His creation, not for waste and jest, but in order that we may thank Him and praise Him and worship Him, subhanahu wa wa ta'ala qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem wa ma khalaqtu al-jinna wal insa illa liya'budun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created all of this, His vast creation, so that we would be reminded of the one who is worthy of worship. Huwa ma'bud. Laysa fi ma'bud siwa. There isn't, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be worshipped. And there is nothing and no one to be worshipped besides Him subhanahu. And he does not share in his dominion, in ruling the creation, subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of this is a part of his vast creation, tabaraka wa ta'ala. He created mankind and jinn. And he ordered us to fear him. Qala subhana, ya ayu nas يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسَ تَقُوا رَبُّكُمْ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ نَفْسٍ وَاحِدَةٍ وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا وَبَثَّ مِنْهُمَا رِجَالٍ كَثِيرٌ وَنِسَاءٌ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever watchful over you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be feared. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that ayat kareem, in that ayat al karima he said, O oh, you mankind, fear your Lord. The one who created you. From a single soul. And from the soul he made his wife, Adam alayhi salatu wa salam and Hawa. And he made from them many, or he made from them mankind. From them came mankind. Because Adam alayhi salatu wasalam is the father of us all. The father of mankind. Alayhi salatu wasalam. وَبَثَ مِنْهُمَ الرِّجَالٍ كَثِيرٌ وَنِسَاءً وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the same verse orders us again. اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Fear Allah. Fear Allah by, by following His commandments, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by staying away from those things He prohibited us from. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing that which He ordered us to do, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam. This is what Allah wa ta'ala ordered us to do. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to follow the Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam, then that's what we have to do as an act of ibadah. That is worship. That's the ways in which we come closer to Allah. If you love Allah, then follow His Messenger, alayhi salatu wa salam. Don't take any shortcuts. We don't go with the opinions. We don't go with uh, our madhab and, our, and, and making taqlid. But rather we follow what Allah has ordered us to follow. Because He, subhanahu wa ta'ala, created all of this. Who else can create this? Mankind can shape and fashion. They can make artificial beaches and beachheads but they can't cause the sea to boil they can't cause the sea to expand they are not the creator of the seas they are not the creator of this planet 
They can try to destroy it, but it won't be destroyed until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed that it be destroyed. Subhana. The day of judgment cannot be hastened by man. But rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed these things from His divine decree, tabaraka wa ta'ala. That's why we have to worship Him. Recognize this. Recognize that your Lord, Subhana, you can come back to Him, you can make tawbah. You can worship Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That, that, that door is open. And so I invite myself and, and others to remember this. To remember the verses in the ayats of Allah. The verses and signs of Allah in His beautiful, vast creation. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to worship Him and Him alone. Recognizing this. Recognizing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all of this. And not in just, just for us to play and for us to just destroy and for us to just use for our own pleasure but rather this is a reminder for us to worship him and him alone not worship his creation don't worship Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam. Don't worship Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Don't worship your Sheikh. Don't worship your Marid. Don't worship the, uh, the Salihin. Worship Allah alayhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida. Worship Allah, the one who created you from a single soul. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.